We have a kitchen team. We have a team that's running food. We have a team that's on drinks because every course is a different drink, hand muddled, you know, crafted uh, mocktail. And then we have uh, service staff. That's a fine dining chef in Ohio speaking at this outdoor dinner party featuring a meticulously crafted five course meal. The dishes feature fresh fruits and vegetables grown in gardens just steps away from where these pleasant patrons are filling up on bread. Though if you zoom in a little past the greens, you can see a novel feature of this little garden party, barbed wire fencing. What's actually happening? Uh, we're about to do a dinner for 60 people inside a prison next to our garden uh, with our class of uh, 20 plus inmates uh, who make it all possible. That's right. For the first time in the history of the state, nearly 60 members of the public turned out for dinner in the prison garden of the Grafton Correctional Institute in Grafton, Ohio. Nestled just southwest of Cleveland, prison grub might seem like a far cry from the 3.9 star dinner experience locals have come to expect from Grafton's top rated Yelp restaurant. But they're not exactly serving up Nutriloaf and toilet wine here. This is part of a serious program put on by a team of serious culinary experts teaching serious skills to inmates. Figuratively, what's happening is we're reframing what's possible in prison. So our chef here, Brandon Edwin Krastowski, is a James Beard Award semifinalist and the founder, CEO, and president of the Edwin's Leadership and Restaurant Institute, an organization that offers up education classes in prisons, including a culinary course that's taught in 652 prisons and jails around the country. This chef first formed a partnership with the staff at this prison in Ohio over a decade ago. So in 2012, that's 12 years ago from today, uh, classes started here teaching men in, in prison about culinary arts and hospitality. That was it. It was a belief that every human being, regardless of their past, has the right to a fair and equal future. This five course meal was part of Edwin's six month culinary course, which trains incarcerated people on cooking techniques, safety and sanitation, and even knife skills. The same title of an Oscar nominated documentary about this program from a few years back, and a practical application of one's hands that's a hell of a lot more useful than mastering that damn knife game. We're setting up a catering event inside of an institution. And I think that's super exciting. Out of anything else, they get to see what we are like because we're just regular people for most part. That's a 28 year old inmate who's been in prison for two and a half years. And he's one of the incarcerated Edwin's culinary students at Grafton, all of whom range in ages from 20 to 70. And when they're not serving up mocktails, are serving prison sentences ranging from short to life behind bars. Having these group of guys who I, I would call my friends cook with me kind of fills that in because at home, it's my sister and I, or my mom and I, and we're always cooking. In a similar vein, this program allows inmates to learn each other's working styles and behaviors, and helps build relationships over preparing and sharing a meal, which is made here using many of the fruits, vegetables, and herbs grown on site in the Correctional Institute's Edwin's Garden and Hope City Garden. The garden is just a way to, you know, really express ourselves from the ground up, um, really express ourselves with what we're cooking and, and who's preparing it and who's growing it. So it's just not just a garden, right? It's not just nourishment, it speaks for so much more. On the five course menu at the prison grounds, a beet salad with goat cheese and greens, some kale and farmer cheese, roasted salmon with Bernays sauce and braised garden greens, roasted lamb with tomato Provençal, and a corn cake dessert complete with blueberry compote and chantilly cream. Each course served upon this fine white linen cloth among bouquets of magenta roses and lilies was also paired with a unique mocktail. And if all of this sounds better than whatever you wolfed down at Applebee's last night, which is certainly my case when it comes to that Heineken I chugged at their bar over a personal sized Chuck E. Cheese pizza the other day, it's worth pointing out that this whole thing is about preparing inmates to re-enter society in a productive way, as observed by the warden here. Many of our guys that live here are going home, so they're going home to be our neighbors. We want our neighbors to be prepared to be law-abiding citizens, and that's what this program is about. It's not just about teaching guys how to cook or how to prepare food. This gives them re-entry level skills so that when they go home, they can be successful in that environment. It's a program that I actually want to carry when, um, to the outside when I leave here. Um, there's, there's housing, there's, there's so many different um, opportunities that they make available to us, and they actually care. Yeah, as noted by this other inmate who worked this event and told the Associated Press that this class has helped him come out of his shell, this mashup of the Bear and Oz can lead to all sorts of opportunities beyond hands-on work experience like housing, legal aid, medical care, and more. Based on a survey of Edwin's graduates, the organization claims they have a 95% employment rate and a less than 1% recidivism rate. And not only does this six month culinary course offer up certifications needed to work in a fine dining establishment, some of the men from the program will get the opportunity to apply to work at many Cleveland area restaurants upon their release from prison. This can be the rest of my life. And they're doing this for, for everybody. They're not, 
um, looking at me as a number, they're looking at me as a person. Edwin's also has a restaurant in Cleveland's Shaker Square, which not only provides training to formerly incarcerated inmates, but features a fine French menu of everything from chilled potato and leek vichyssoise to frog legs and garlic parsley and butter. Here your daily news refresh, we don't have a lot of fine French food to offer up, but we do have plenty of weird, funny, and interesting news stories. Like this recent one about a robot chef on display at the 2024 World Robot Conference. Huh. Talk about knife skills.